That's pretty cool. Test shit. There we go. Beat Hazard. Hello, welcome to another developer blog for Beat Hazard 2. Yesterday I did a video on how to create a new ship in the game and load it up to the workshop. And today I'm going to do one on how to actually create uh, an image for a new ship. Uh, it can be a bit of an involved process, um, so I'll take you through it a step at a time. I normally use Photoshop, um, but that's you know relatively expensive piece of software. So I'll show you how to do it in a program called GIMP. GIMP is a free uh, editing uh, photo editing uh, application that you can download. So I'll, I'll put a link to that uh, below, and you can see it here. So this is. <coughs> So our game looks like, um, if you download the ship pack that uh, is on my website, and I'll put a link to that as well. Uh, in fact, here it is, let me show you. There's a load of parts for, for ships uh, that are in the same graphic style that the game uses. And these, this, so you can use these parts to create a ship that looks similar to, the, to what you get in game, or you can use whatever you want. So, Let's start from the beginning. So we've got GIMP running. We've got our uh, pack from the website, and you're going to be looking for ship example.psd. Now this is a Photoshop file, um, but GIMP can change it into its own format. So if you just drag it into into GIMP, let me grab that area there. It will ask you. If you want to convert it, just say yeah, convert that. So there we go. We've got now um, the ship and its parts. Now the way this works is, if you've not used it before, you've got on the right hand side here the layers that go into building up this image. So if I click on the move button, look, you can all these layers move around separately and don't interfere with each other. So there we go. So you can see how obviously you can then use all these items to build a ship. So so far so good. Um, <coughs> first thing you want to do is turn off the grey layer at the back. So when you see that checkerboard pattern, that's that will be transparent on the image. Obviously, you need transparency on the spaceship, otherwise you'll just end up flying around a big square on the screen. So I'll quickly make a ship. One of the first things you want to do, which because I've not used this program before and I've just figured it out myself, is in edit and edit preferences, you want to go to tool options and tick set layer or path as active there. What that means is when you move something, it becomes the, the layer on the right hand side becomes active, which is really useful. Well, it's a real pain. So let's start by getting rid of some stuff. Let's get rid of this engine. So you can just select it, press delete, get rid of these fins, delete, delete, get rid of those turrets, delete, I'll keep the wings. In fact, I'll delete that, delete that, and I'll delete that. So we'll, we'll keep the cockpit. And we'll do some we'll do some messing around with this wing. So what you can do is press Shift S, and that'll allow you to scale it. So if you grab a corner, you can change the shape of the wing. If you hold down Shift while you're doing it, it'll maintain its aspect ratio. But if you want to bend it around, you can do that. So let's make it a bit <coughs> a bit squishier, and then you click on Scale, and that's now done. So we'll get our and then. To go back into movement mode, you press M. You can also click on the toolbox up here. Let's get this in the middle. I wonder where the whoops. Let's find out where the middle is. So we're on about oh 256, so 128 ish. Don't know if it tells me anywhere. Anyway. The other thing you can do is when the whatever layer you've got selected, if you're over it, you can just use the arrow keys to nudge it. Is really useful. 
Okay, so we'll, we'll stick a wing on here. So then, you obviously want a wing on the other side, which is exactly the same. So the quickest way of doing it is just right click. You can see which layer, which layer selected, layer four. And just right click on it. Go to duplicate layer. And we'll get another one of those. And then if you want to, you need to flip it, you go to layer, transform, flip horizontal. There we go. <coughs> and then you can make sure that we're the same level. And use the use the arrow keys just to nudge it around to try and keep it symmetrical. So there's our the basic shape. The other things you can do is you can just drag and drop items from this pack inside. So we'll have so we'll have one a turret, so you can drop that in. And let me bring that window. So it's asking to convert it, just say yes. Convert it. <coughs> it's actually stuck it under there for some reason. Interesting. I don't know why, but when I deleted those layers, yeah, it's deleted the images, but it's not in. Um, it seems to have kept. Tell I've not used this before. You're learning as much as I am. Right. There's our turret. It was at the back. One of the one of the things I was just doing, which is handy, if you start to move something and then hold down control, it will snap it to an axis, so you can move it nice, either vertically or horizontally, without it suddenly going off to one side. So that's useful to know. So um, let's get our cockpit back where it's supposed to be. That turret may be a bit big, so we can shift S, scale it down a bit, scale, press M to move, we'll stick it on there. We can duplicate that layer. Again, so if we start to move it and then hold down control, it will make sure that that stays at the same height. Take it across the other side, put it in the right place. Let's add some other bits. Let's go and stick some more. We need an engine, let's put an engine in. Which one shall we use? I'll use this one. Put a couple of engines on. <coughs> Convert. Put it right there again. Move. Put my wing back, hang on. And you see that that <coughs> The engine obviously on top of the wing, so you can go into the layer uh, section on the right hand side, you click the layer, drag it down, you see these wings here, and then let go, and now it's going to be, let's have some really chunky um, engines. Duplicate that layer, and then move it, keep it the same height, get it in the right place, back there. Yeah, looks all right. Let's stick in some. Oh, that's that needs to be there. Looks about right. Should really measure it a bit better than that. Um, let's whack in an extra cockpit for fun. So convert. Yes, here's our cockpit. Make it smaller, shift S to scale, bring it down. So I'm holding down shift to stop it crunching. Scale it. Press M to move, which I forgot. And let's drag it down so it's underneath. Where should we put it? So I'm going to put it there and then I'm going to move the turrets. A bit. Let's put them on the wing. Oops. If you press, obviously shift Z. If you mess something up, moves everything back. Okay, it must be the right place. Here. Let's put that about there. Duplicate this layer. <coughs> and move it. Hold down control.
There we go. Right. These are not right here. These are not in the right place. Let's get in the right place. So we're doing everything by eye, which is not really the best way of doing it. But okay. There's our ship. That will do for the time being. I mean, you can you can go nuts, but there's a <coughs> chuck in a missile if you want. To stick some missiles on. There we go. It's a bit smaller. Scale. Move. Duplicate layer. And then reposition it on the other side. There you go. Okay, pretty cool, not bad. Um, the game won't accept images bigger than 256 by 256. If you want to check, you can go to image properties and <coughs> size in pixels, my 274 by 349, so it's too big. So we can crop it. There's a lot of empty space on there anyway. Um, where's the crop tool? There's the crop tool. So, if we draw around the image and we can cut it down about there. So we've cropped out all the, the space around the edge and let's have a quick look at image properties. 227 by 253, so that's fine, that's small enough to go on. You can also, if you wanted to, you could build a big ship and scale it down to that size is the other way of doing it. <coughs> so the last part is to save out the image as a PNG file. You can save, if I just save this now, save as um, ship example uh, 2. This is an XCF format. That will save that as it is with all its layers, but obviously the game doesn't understand that. This is save that if you want to come back and edit later. To save it in a format that the that the game knows, is you do export as, and it needs to be a PNG file. A PNG file is an image. It will squash it all down, and it will keep the transparency. For example, some like JPEGs don't have transparency, so that background will just become probably white. Um, ship example. I'll put five, I've got a few. Right, so ship by example five PNG export comes up with a load of stuff, just say export again, and it's done. So if I look in here, show me this is ship by example five, there it is. So there's our there's our the image we just built, squished down as a PNG file. So if I now run the game, you should be able to bring this image in as a new ship and give it a fly around. Let's finish running. <coughs> okay. So. And hanger, so I can do create new ship, load ship image. And where's that ship example five, the one we've just made? There we go. Our cool ship. So one of the things I do is tend to make this make it put the scale right up. Um, just so then you can get your turret position sorted, so we'll stick. Uh, what should we do? Right, we'll stick the first set of turrets and the actual turrets. The other two, well, let's have it poking out, coming out the nose here. And then we can also get our engine positions in the right place. Got three engines. Put these here. And this one we can go down here. In fact, let's have four just for fun because then we can do something like uh, split. Split the middle one, let's split the middle one. There you go, that's quite cool. And we'll keep the other one, let's keep that one straight, make them a bit bigger. Make that a bit bigger, yeah, a bit smaller. Put these one at max. 
and then let's bring back down the scale that's pretty cool test shit there we go a ship a brand new ship made by using the ship pack <coughs> and a ship editing uh, photo sh photo editing software Ooh. That's not bad it's not bad I'll leave this in the um, in the workshop so you can download it and play with it uh, just for fun Game. There you go. So if I do, uh, I'll just let's in fact, let's just tweak it, make it a bit faster, make that a bit, bit more bullet speed, bit more damage. See what we can get out of it. Not bad. Okay. Right. Publish final. Oh, nice. Give it a name. Ship name. Uh, 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 I'll call it uh, uh, a ship. Okay, publish final version. Boom. So now that goes off to the Steam Workshop, and if you want to go and download it, you can do. Have a muck about with it. Um, and there you go. Let's wait for that to finish. So you need GIMP, photo editing software, which is free. You need the ship pack that I've created, which there'll be a link to. If you want to use any other image that you come across, you can. Um, <coughs> play around with it, see what you can come up with. There you go, a ship. Brilliant. <laughs> There you go. So I hope you found that useful. I hope it made sense. I've not used GIMP until today, so there's probably um, I'm, I've just learned the basics really fast, but just enough to get by um, and let you guys know how to how to get by and and create your own stuff. Hope you found that useful, and uh, see you again soon.